Hi, and welcome to week four, Interpreting the Old Testament Poetry and Prophecy. So now we're going to be moving out of narrative, which is the most common part uh, of, of the Bible, but we're going to be moving into looking at poetry, uh, which is a highlight of the course. Being able to see God's word through um, Psalms is um, enjoyable and kind of fun. We're going to take a different tack than what you probably have done in the past while interpreting poetry, and we're going to be looking at parallelism. So in assignment 4.1, I want you to list and discuss by creating a list of the types of parallelism in Psalm 8 and explain your decisions. Now, this is more of a chart. However, if you look down there in the purple, be sure to include an introduction and a conclusion to this assignment. So even on charts, even on lists, even on any kind of assignment, you should be including an introduction and conclusion. And I believe that that's essential, especially in master's level work, uh, because you need to set up what are you intending to learn. And then in the conclusion, you need to accomplish a couple of things. First, academically, what was the point to the assignment? What did you learn or pick up? And I think that doing more than just filling in a worksheet, we have to kind of sit back. And especially as master's students, think about the why. Why did I do the, this, this, this assignment? And then think about the how this is going to impact me is the second half of the conclusion as to what can I take away and apply to my own life, personal reflection, or my own ministry. Uh, and so from assignment 4.1 onward in the course, I'm going to begin to really uh, critique the conclusions and mark off where I've kind of allowed you just to put something down in the conclusion. Now I'm looking for some real content in your conclusion. So um, create a list of the types of parallelism um, in Psalm 8 and explain your decisions. You should also identify six instances of figurative language and two instances of inter-Psalm connections. So how is Psalm 8 con um, connected to other Psalms in the Old Testament? Um, this is due on Monday at midnight. Uh, as an, uh, then we also have a discussion post, sorry. Uh, having completed the interpretation assignment or at least completed all the reading, getting ready for the interpretation assignment, Think about the passage or how the passage demonstrates an aspect of Psalm's character. Trying to complete the following sentence. Uh, based upon my reading of Psalm 8, I understand that God is a God who blank. And then supporting that answer with both biblical support and academic support. One of the ongoing uh, real intents of this class is to answer the question, who is God and what is God like? And so as we look at the Psalms, what does the Psalmist, in this case, likely David, um, have to say about God and what about God's character are we learning? As you complete the statement, try to keep in mind the manner in which the narrative portrays the relationship between God humanity, and the world, uh, as well as explicit statements by the psalmist. So again, backing up, pondering this short psalm, and going, what is David trying to tell us about God? Um, as always, include quotes from, from the reading, outside research, biblical support, for the body of, of your paper, as well as personal reflection in the conclusion of the paper. Feel free to email or call me this week. Uh, and I look forward to seeing what you come up with uh, while reviewing Psalms. Have a great week.